Our world would now be inconceivable without abundant electricity. It illuminates our homes, workplaces and recreation areas, giving us more time for work and leisure. But the liveliness that electricity provides us comes at a cost. The monthly electricity bill. Have you ever wondered how it is computed? Well, we would love to explain. In your BACS monthly electricity bill, the calculation of a slab is done based on the actual number of days in the bill month. For example, if the billing period is 31 days and covers 26 days of June and 5 days of July respectively with total consumption of 448 units, then this is how the slab-wise calculation will take place. This calculation was for the first slab. Now we will do the same type of computation for the second slab. For the third slab, the calculation is simple. Take the total consumed units, 448, and reduce the first slab units from it, 206. In the result, add the second slab units, 205, and this will give us 37 units, which is the value for the third slab. Now let us understand how fixed charges are computed on the basis of sanctioned load. If the fixed charges are say rupees 403.06 for the bill period ranging from 10th January to 7th February, this is how it has been calculated. Let us also understand what exactly is behind the fixed charges that are paid by you. About 80% of a power distribution company's cost of operations in the country is on account of the power purchase costs. Discoms in Delhi purchase as you may be aware, electricity from the power generating stations located across the country to meet the city's ever increasing power demand. These stations are largely owned by central and state government power generation companies. As per the regulatory tariff mechanism, the power that Discom purchase has two main cost components fixed and variable. The fixed cost is payable by a DISCOM to these power generation companies as per the capacity declared by these stations for units that are generating power as well as those which are not at present. Further, the DISCOMs maintain as well as upgrade the distribution infrastructure including transformers, feeders, cables etc. Keeping in mind the peak demand in the national capital which is growing at around 6% per year. These costs incurred by the power discoms go along in maintaining reliable and quality power supply in Delhi, which is crucial for powering Delhi and empowering consumers. The costs are also not influenced by consumption or variable charges payable by consumers. These charges paid by the discoms are of fixed nature and form a major component of the fixed costs paid by the consumers in their bills. An important part of your electricity bill is PPAC. This is the variance between the power purchase cost approved by the Commission and actual power purchase cost to BSCS. The percentage of PPAC is mentioned under the important message section of your BSES bill. The bill amount also includes surcharge and electricity tax. The surcharge is 8% on energy charge and fixed charges. The electricity tax is 5% on energy charges, PPAC on energy charges and surcharge on energy charges. The bill also includes a 3.8% pension surcharge approved by DERC to pay the dues to the pension trust. It is computed on energy charge and fixed charge. Also, the security deposit is refundable as per the various classifications. And remember, the net amount payable is always mentioned in the bill as a rounded-off amount. 
The remaining amount after rounding off is always adjusted in the next bill in other charges, if any, head column. So friends, hope you have now fully understood how your electricity bill is calculated by BSES. Delivering reliable and affordable power to you.